I came across a technology that originally was developed for the U.S. military. It could go about 40 or 50 miles uh, in pure electric, and then after it had a range extender, it go as far as you want. I thought, what if we would take that, make it into a usable drivetrain for a normal consumer to buy a car? When you reach the end of uh, the battery charge, 50 miles, that's enough for most people during a normal day of driving. You can continue and you can drive another couple of hundred miles. The engine automatically will come on at that point and you can continue driving and you will not notice a drop off in overall performance. The gasoline engine is only there as a range extender. So we don't have the gasoline engine connected to the wheels. It's only there to turn a generator to create electricity to power the electric motors. The advantage with driving an electric is really that you always have torque. Whenever you press the accelerator, you have instant acceleration. So we've got more than enough power in there to deliver that to the 400 horsepower motors that we have in the rear of the vehicle. Most people are driving between 30 to 60 miles a day. So in most cases, you're gonna be able to operate all electric. You know, you come in, you plug in the vehicle at night, you wake up in the morning and you're back out. Now, if you forget to plug in the vehicle, of course you have the engine in there, so you don't have to worry about it. There's no range anxiety as you'd get in a normal electric vehicle. It really comes back to the point that there is no sacrifice from a consumer point of view in terms of range. And range equals freedom. Once you start driving with a range extender and this type of power, instant power, you're not going to want to go back to a normal car.